on that <laughs> welcome everyone to the first ever live filming of the tartiflette games we are of course bringing you the backcountry brawl with next to zero delay um the backcountry brawl is a competition in well we really didn't come up with a description for this one yeah it's it's been a while since like three months since we posted the rules so it's um you know in the backcountry that's what you guys wanted uh, it's an unbroken line. It's just one run. It's like two, two and a half minutes. It's check my seeds. You guys caught us. Um, but we wanted to do a live version with some commentary. So we do have 11 runs. This is taking place at the Rusu 2 Snow Park in Sapporo, Japan. All we told you is you have to hit the start point, the end point. You can go where you want. So some of you went further than others. You just have to finish at the right spot. And, uh, you know, we'll play all 11 runs, do some commentary, check in with your comments, see what you guys think. And then at the end, most of it will be decided by a fan vote. So we will be posting one of our lovely Google forms, going to a quick break, seeing what you guys pick, and then announcing the winner at the end. So, Mitch, uh, we are live, and chat is saying that the music is too loud. Oh, boy. That's right. Yes. So Already we're did fix that. that. We'll, we'll roll that back real quick. Yeah. All right. Music, <laughs> is the music lower? Yes. All right. Perfect. Uh, so... <laughs> Welcome to the Tardiflet Games Backcountry Brawl. Uh, obviously, we are live this time. We are not editing this one down. This is in the moment. Um, you guys are terrible counters, by the way. Uh, so, Mitch, we, we really didn't come up with a description of what the Backcountry Brawl is, so I figured we could just do that in the moment here. Yeah, we were talking. Um, you know, it's an unbroken line through the Rusutsu Snow Park Challenge in Japan. Two to two and a half minutes. You just got to... Okay cruise through do some steezy stuff not too many judging guidelines it's kind of like check my steez you know that's kind of where the idea not, came from it's not yeah. kind of check my steez this is check my steez on nick and mitch so <laughs> it's shout live. out to our check my steez friends <laughs> but uh yes we are running this live with live commentary um mitch said it before i won't make him repeat everything that he <laughs> said when the music was too loud but please uh stay tuned for the entire event because we will need your help at the end of this, uh, for a fan vote, we are going to take a live fan vote and have a winner decided by you guys. Yes. So, is that it? Did we cover everything? That's it, yeah. We'll just get started. Perfect. We got the first run up, and we are going to be watching Eclipse's Backcountry Brawl. So let me adjust the mic here. Sweet, awesome. We're all set. <laughs> Eclipse is coming huge through all of these trees here this is such a fast course i absolutely love the speed that you get on this hill 
yeah, there's uh, a lot of opportunity for speed and just cruising through that line. Um, some people took it nice and slow though too, and there's just a lot of features to play with. There's the man-made stuff, there's the trees like that you can grind on, rocks, uh, some of the stuff you can tap and get some weird glitches going on. Yeah, I know for sure we will be seeing some of those, uh, Ooh. Yeah, I, I call it abusing the game. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, Eclipse <laughs> just riding the rocks, no G-Force meter, no black and white, just like that. Like, <laughs> you can abuse this section of the park. He was able to ride that better than you can ride the half pipes in this game most times. Like, he just <laughs> scooped right down that rock, and it looks like he's going for it again and then popping off of the rock with the 360 stopping in the middle. Just an incredible, I love all of these sends off of, I mean, I know they're not cannons, but I don't know what else to call them. Those cannon kickers, they're just awesome. Here comes another one. Oh no, he's going to uh, bypass the rainbow arc there for the other cannon. He's gonna send it huge, showing off those Armada skis, always gorgeous. Oh, this is so much fun, dude. We're in the, we're in the first run and I'm already like jittery. I, yeah, I can't I wait to get through all these. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, I think he went a little bit further left uh, too. He took kind of a left route going by those rocks and just coming up to the finish line here, finishing it off with a 180. So let's check out some of his replays. Beautiful transition onto that fallen tree there, lands right at the base of it and is able to maximize all of his grind time on that one. Here's, of course, one of those huge rock sends, a little kiss on the no-no rocks. <laughs> he was just, it was like a quarter pipe. He found a perfectly man-made quarter pipe. Uh, let's see what some people thought. Uh, how did I get? Yolo, uh, Yolo Pro 007 says such a clean line. Pollo Loco coming in. What is this game? <laughs> <laughs> Flair saying, why did I go for such a boring line? Flair, you're coming up. Uh, I think you're right middle of the pack. I think so. so. Um, It'll be interesting to see yours compared to this. I don't think it's going to be that boring, though. No, but we're going to move on to the next one. I know the replays won't be boring on this because it is Unpen from Poland. Uh-oh. All right, here <laughs> we go. Unpen coming in with that hamster hat that he loves wearing there. Uh, you know what I would love to see? What? You know, looking at those ears on the uh, on the hat there, the helmet, whatever you want to call it. I, w I want a Winterfest beanie. Okay. Oh, mm. you know, with like okay. that bright blue Yeti, just that ab yep. abomination. Yep. I want a hat of that Yeti right there. I could see it. It would fit kind of the cartoon style like this. I think it's a, it's either a cat. I think it's a cat and you like Ooh. to say hamster. Ooh. Oh, that, like crooked landing. Oh, yeah, what on earth? Oh, a sideways front flip. Mm. Oh, and then a, that was a weird, yeah. was that a grind on the, on the wood? I don't know what he did. It that was, was cool. He just clipped the corner of that rainbow rail and was able to cap that off. Uh, going there for that, like you said, that nature made quarter pipe oh, and through the trees. I, I absolutely love seeing all of these riders pushing through the trees here. Again, yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep saying it. I love this location. You pick one hell of a location, dude. Uh, yeah, I was just looking for some weird stuff. Oh, Whoa. okay. <laughs> Unpaid. <laughs> Oh, excuse was, me sir yeah it's like a rubber band bounce just jeez oh, i hope he included that in his replay because yeah. that was just disgusting man if he didn't i hope he saved that as a separate replay because that was just so wicked and there again it looked it might have been an off rotation act uh, off axis rotation there just mm -hmm. it looks like he's just flailing in the middle of the air this is insane going through the trees Wow, stopped himself <laughs> right before uh, total, total destruction. Yeah, oh, and a nice front flip over that bridge too, man. <laughs> Dude, then... <laughs> unpen, killing it, just smacking down a run, second of the day, and just pulling out all the stops here. Yeah, he comes with a lot of speed, like in his slope style competitions, he is not afraid to just send a ton of spins, but throws in a lot of variation and just makes it look so good. Yeah, this was such a fun run. I mean, I'm I'm waiting for that rock bonk or whatever you want to call it. I don't, yeah, I don't know what to call rebound. that. Yep, something like that. Nope, this is no. it. this is still it's... just such good camera work. Ooh, getting a little dizzy too. Huge, huge spins through the trees. That was that big stop in the trees there that we saw. No, not going to get a replay of that bonk, and uh, I think we're going to have to move forward. We could let it play the whole way through again, but <laughs> um, I think we're going to have to move on forward. Uh, yes, Daggy commenting saying Rutsutsu has always been an underrated park. Absolutely love that it's getting some attention here. Yeah, us too. 
this yeah, is an incredible I, section. I did hear that it was something like, you know, it can be tricky with the glitches with the powder, like jumping out of it. But when you do get something that looks good, it's so good. And yeah, yeah we'll go to Steepest Legend, who I think is here. He did make it in time to watch his run. He's up at the beginning. So one of our favorites from Sweden. Yeah, those Armadas. I believe those are Armadas, right? Those they are the armadas, armadas, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Those huge rainbow armadas, the uh, steepest legend exclusives there. <laughs> <laughs> and the overalls, too. I l love that yeah. kind of freestyle outfit. No backpack. Sorry, Stefan. Right. That's just not steepest legend style. No, I absolutely love you know, he He's not in the Ronald McDonald kit today, mm. but uh, that's, that's him. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. This is his backcountry fit. You know, right. he's right. it's not the X Games. He's not in a crowd. He's going more casual whenever he's just cruising coming up onto this huge feature gonna send Ooh. it just clipping those rocks oh man i thought he was gonna clear those rocks that would have been insane i did like the tap though and then a beautiful backflip just the extension on those legs dude this is killer and this is like compared to unpens a lot more low-key but still he's got a ton of that steez that we love to see from him and then a weird kind of ricochet off to the left but just beautiful yeah, trying to sort himself out there in the trees. You know, I, I am a huge fan of Top Gear, the UK Top Gear that is no longer on air. Um, but when they were testing cars and going around the tracks, they always said that the faster the line, the slower the time. The slower the line, the faster time. So I, I think that might, you know, I, I know that we're not timing these runs, but the tricks, you know, keeping it cleaner sometimes does more for the run versus throwing it all out there. And that's not to say that Unpen didn't absolutely kill it, but you know, com two completely different styles here back to back. You have Unpen thrown everything plus the kitchen sink, <laughs> and now you have Steepest Legend taking his time, meticulous crafting of this line. That was incredible. That was, and man, I think this is the one where we got the rock tap, the one you thought he cleared, yes. but he was able to kind of hit it and then come out, switch in the landing and then head off to the left. No, that was absolutely wonderful. Chat, trying to look through. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, that that's the feedback. That's the uh, that's what we're going with. Just okay, good. That's the greatest part about the line. Uh, Jeff is glad that we don't have to wear backpacks in Riders Republic. So, seems like you guys are really contentious on that. I do understand though. <laughs> yeah, and a yeah. huge tap, like Nate Hotshot said, off of that rock, just very good yeah absolutely all right next up is extra clean water i believe his first in the tardiflect games i've been seeing his name in uh stefan's shred the spot yes. he's been, i think he won one of them and that right. was when i first kind of saw his name yeah I, I believe he he has won multiple mm. um he's won multiple awards over at shred this spot whether it's best trick or just overall i believe i i don't have the facts in front of me i believe he won both of them once shred this spot six or seven hole oh! just feeding the gap threads the needle there oh my god with the ta top hat there. Uh, and then a oh, tap of the rock and then pretzel out of it <laughs> uh on extra clean water sorry extra clean water is not messing around here he is just throwing it all out this is incredible he put on that abe lincoln hat and then he is just <laughs> right down to business he is locked in on this event i don't think i think this may be the first feature of the abe lincoln hat uh, in the Tardiflet Games world here. Yes, remember uh, that when we do Tardiflet Games trivia in 20 years, and this will yeah. be the callback. It right. was the first I mean, to wear the Abe Lincoln. Extra clean right there in the valley, just tapping that little rail there. Uh, holy cow. I mean, this is just, you know, is this a luck run or is this, has he done this a million times? I'd love to hear if he's in the comments, um, how many takes <laughs> did this one take? Because this looks like you put it together like an edit. It might be one of those where I think if you get that gap through the trees. Oh, and then a nice, like, oh. going over to that far, <laughs> the far tree. Uh, yeah, I think maybe he was trying. I mean, that was beautiful. The backflip over the rock and coming really close. And then that gap through the little tree branch. I feel like that's the run that you kind of plan and try to do. And then once you nail that trick, you just try to get everything else there. Just look there at that. Is. Wow. Threading <laughs> the needle. There was no room for him to miss the back of his skis through that no. opening. No, and that he got insane. like a tiny tap on it that actually pushed him further through it. That's crazy. Absolutely nuts. Marcus 
saying tight jeff he was reborn and of course daggy water isn't the only thing that's extra clean here <laughs> gosh darn <laughs> could have said it better ourselves yeah i think it's time to head on to our next competitor here up on the mountain we've now got p-dub from new zealand so i don't think he's with us i think he said it would be like 4 a.m 3 a.m his time yeah. so he got to watch the replay at least but relatively new in a tft shoe and i can't wait to see what it pulls out yeah i absolutely love that outfit i love that jacket that he wears with that bright yellow left sleeve so nice i do love some like off like non-symmetrical i think is the mm -hmm. word you know yep. we were talking about some adidas jackets that do that with like a diagonal one side's a different color can really work out especially when you're doing something like this skiing where he pulls off a ton of spins and then you get the flash every time he rotates so it's just that extra bit of style yeah, that's the same thing with um, Steepest Legends kit with those armadas, those bright rainbow armadas, and even my kit with the uh, the yellow yes skis underneath, or the snowboard, I'm sorry. Whenever you flash it, whenever you pull off that one trick and you can flash a color uh, that you're not seeing on screen, that's just a completely different level. P-Dub enjoying those rocks again. How, how are you guys riding these rocks <laughs> without just absolutely biting it? Every time I touch them, the game just shuts down. I know. immediately <laughs> i need to get that sound effect playing on here where i can just press a button and have the e maybe For fade real. the stream out to black and white maybe that's an effect we got to really put some yeah, effort we could, into <laughs> we can do our own rock features here yeah but yeah he was beautiful on the rocks and he's pretty big in check my steez if i'm remembering right so he's yeah. used to different little runs like this Pita monitoring his speed with perfection here. You see him going back and forth, back and forth, slowing himself down. He knows exactly where he needs to be, exactly what he needs to do to hit that rainbow rail with a double oh. backflip to cap it off. <laughs> double. Just clean as ever, sir. You know that's our favorite Ooh. trick that you can possibly see in a first double on that last feature and just so gorgeous and a beautiful transfer and then going off left, not riding that tree the entire way. Yeah planting it, making himself known, and getting out of the way for the next thing. There it is There's, again. Yep. Huge rock feature. Just, just oh, gorgeous. Yeah. You I can mean, see and, the precision, and, too. The, fir the first person view just kind of really shows you what it's like to be riding down this. You know, you know, we just saw it there in the replay. You know we love a good sun shot, sun angle to get those lens mm -hmm. flares in there. P-Dub absolutely showing up to play today. Chat. It's a flare. That's scary. Getting a couple <laughs> different pogs, some wows, some no, 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 no's. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's uh, I think he's scaring some of the competition here. Um, you know, just throwing down such a good line. Well, next up, uh, he is worried about it. So it's time to watch Flair's entry. I think and we're getting just, close to the middle. <laughs> just a reminder here. Stay tuned. Make sure you're watching every single one of these runs because you will be tasked with crowning our winner today. We will have a fan vote open at the end of all runs. Flair stealing those skis off of Steepest Legends feet up on top. <laughs> They're becoming the hot commodity. And that was a really cool landing on like the lower branch of that tree. I yeah, I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> the landing was incredible, but like you just said, the, the fact that he cherry picked that bottom branch of that huge tree, no one else has done that. That was incredible. Mm -hmm. Flair shooting right down the gap of this valley, just soaking up every single feature. A huge <laughs> yeah. slow backflip there. Was, Holy cow. Like. Just, I don't know, like 10 degrees off axis. It was wild. <laughs> Flair, <laughs> it, shut up, man. <laughs> this, is, this is incredible. Oh my God, yeah, huge uh, scent, huge air, massive speed, avoiding those rocks like us because he has a brain and he <laughs> cherishes his life. And, ooh, just tapping the very beginning of that bridge. Someone so close. And let's see what he does in the final one. Yep. The backflip, it's popular, but I'm not going to lie. That might be a requirement next time we run this event. Your no. last trick must be a backflip, no grabs. Look at that clearance on the rock at the very beginning. Not one, but two slow-mo single backflips. Our absolute favorite tricks in the game. There it is, the lens mm -hmm. flares again. You know the finish flash is all about the editing. This is where he wants to shine, but it is not where we are judging him today. No, but oh, <laughs> I love this. That, that, I think that's the off-axis. He like turned a little bit in the sky. It's just so weird, beautiful, graceful, stuff I can never do. Oh, these camera and we got, angles. Yeah, Jeff, Drone this angles. run is insane. Yeah insane uh this could be used as cpr <laughs> <laughs> 
I know. I think there there's something going on in the football game too. So. Oh man. Yeah. The, uh, the finish Float. match. What's mm-hmm. what's the score? If we could get a score in the uh, Denmark Finland game chat, please. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Very, Very floaty and nice run. Yes, it was. It was uh, you know, just floaty like you said. Uh, very smooth the whole way through. Uh, we now got the man from Switzerland and or Liechtenstein. Whenever he fills out our forms, it is Poyo Loco. Poyo, are you actually from Liechtenstein? That's I really cool. I think he's making that up every time, <laughs> oh, okay. but I don't know. I don't want right, to say okay. it's zero zero right now. The game. Yeah, right. It's like it's like three <laughs> houses. I think right. Make mm-hmm. up Liechtenstein. It's like three houses in a castle. You know what? If he wins a full event, we'll mm-hmm. call him the mayor of Liechtenstein or the whatever king. The grand poobah of yes. Liechtenstein. <laughs> That's awesome. Opting for the feature heavy. Uh oh. Uh oh, Mitch. What? We have the critical error. We have uh, Luke Skywalker down at the bottom of that mountain. Oh. <laughs> I see that that lightsaber marker down there in the in the ground for background. <laughs> Hitting a huge slow back single backflip off of one of those kickers, tapping on those rocks, throwing <laughs> it down. Man, yes, I mean I love Poyolo. Go, I think uh, he had some good music behind this one too. But we've been muting everyone's runs, and he's also headed over to the rocks. Gets a nice tap, and then a switch out, just a nice little one eighty, and then ooh, sneaking in. I think a rodeo, a cork, something off axis, snuck it in there. Anyone that is able, just completely clearing the rainbow yeah. rail there and making his way through the through the trees. Anyone who's able to take one of those little bumps in the in the valleys and the paths that is not a jump or not a feature uh, and make something out of that, hitting a rotation, huge, uh, just that's incredible. Hats off to you. Yeah, I'd say a lot of his landings too are really clean considering where he's taking off from. He's like landing at the right kind of curvature, like. That a nice little bounce and then ooh, crashing little, into the fence at the end, but he crossed the finish line. <laughs> cheeky double cork there at the end. Uh-huh. Might have might have screwed up that name, but here we go. Some slow motion action in the sunlight. Oh. That was yeah, like you said, it looked like Poyo was floating on clouds the entire mm-hmm. way. There was not a single time where his knees broke, uh, where he was getting blisters on his toes or whatever. You know, he was just powder running that entire thing. That was incredible. I keep saying incredible. They are. These are so good. We have 11 of the best riders of the backcountry here for you today, and they're all showing up. Yeah, they have been. Poyo, great. Look at that little bonk off of that. I think I missed that the first time. I was laughing at your Luke Skywalker comment, but uh, <laughs> yeah, another great entry. We have one, one, two, three, four, four, five, four maybe left, but we're going to go to zero next. Zero coming into us from Austria. Not sure we have Woo! seen. Oh, it is currently 0-0, zero, okay. zero, Denmark, uh, Finland. During Zero's run, that was beautiful. It was a sideways Lincoln over the first bridge. So first time we've seen that, and it was beautiful. Just absolutely. This this is a furious run. Little bonk mm-hmm. off of there, throwing himself off to the right, missing that tree feature. But that's okay. He's picking up speed for this rainbow arch. Going to completely clear it. Oh! <laughs> Whole yeah. <new> rotation. <laughs> Oh, and another one. Yeah, this, this is man is definitely run. sponsored by that Red Bull helmet. He has his wings on right now. <laughs> Just floating. Here we come through the valley. Going to hit that little sender. Oh, what, what a what nice. Are, do- what's that called? A dodge? He like incorporated a tree dodge essentially into his run by just like shoving off that little post on the wooden bridge. He, you know, unlike P Dub, there is no speed management here. This no, <laughs> is the jet, the jets are on, dude. He can never get enough speed on this. I think that was his motto coming into it. I will be the fastest and the quickest, and he's nailing it. Yeah, you know, you sometimes you get in trouble whenever you get to these speeds, but zero just smacking down a. I'm gonna say it there's again, that loop, a fast and furious mm. run. Oh my god. Oh that's yeah, that's beautiful. right. That's right. Right out of the bat, hits that sideways. Mm-hmm. And insane. We're rewatching that this. whenever this this hits back to the top. I gotta watch it again. It's just yeah, very. I don't want to say underrated, but and look at that, the backflip to the side between the rock and the bridge. Just thinking a lot about his things and not using just all the main features. And here it is. Look, oh, oh <laughs> man, he like drags his GoPro through the snow of yep. that arch. Yeah, um, we needed that first person view of that trick. If you in- still have that run safe somewhere. In chat, uh, Steepest Legend is calling him out, calling Zero out. Uh, this might be Jesper Schotter. Just I, it, <laughs> playing it steep. It might be, yeah. <laughs> this could. We'll, we'll, we'll send this clip to him on Instagram. Be like, is this you, Jesper? Are you playing the game? 
Daggy also saying it perfectly better than we ever could. Despite the zooming, that was a picture perfect control, super mm -hmm. impressive run. So well yeah. done, Zero. Welcome to the Tardiflet Games. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not competing. We all say that we're not competing. We got another Swedish rider, Ruby, uh -oh. entering. He's also not wearing a backpack. It must be a Swedish thing. Oh, and look Ooh. at that. The truck driver just dusting the tips on the rock. And I couldn't count it. 1,400, 1,800, something yeah, it, like that. <laughs> it was up there. I failed math once or twice, but just Ooh. helicopter rotations out the wazoo here. Another guy that went uh, on the lower branch, but coming in from the opposite side, then landing on it, going prets out. So a lot of you know technique in this one, too. And huge front flip with a little tweak in there, just sending it over that rock feature. That might be my favorite section of this, of this park, you know, of, of this uh, map is that little boop that's sending you over those rocks. The one that I believe steepest legend uh, bonked on. Yeah, you can, these guys play it differently than we do. Cause I played this challenge. Woo. <laughs> 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 the control not one but two boulders cleared let's go oh. <laughs> man i love backcountry brawl speechless See. i absolutely love this <laughs> goodbye knucklehawk goodbye slope oh. style goodbye everything yeah we're just we, we are check my steez now every <laughs> club shred this spot check my steez nick and mitch we're all doing the same thing <laughs> I can see why I can see why we do so much check my steeds. This is ins this is absolutely insane. Yeah, I love these when you can get people doing like a full long run trying to just clip it all together. Look at that. Daggy, cool. that's an ankle snapper if I ever did see one. <laughs> yeah, be glad you're wearing ski boots that make sure your foot cannot separate because he would lose his ankles on those jumps. Yeah, oh my thighs are There's screaming. That. Look at that clearance. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is another just meticulously planned run. Yeah. A wonderful this is, job. This is going to be hard to pick. Glad I'm not picking. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is going to be rough. This is all up to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy that all I have to do is sit here and talk about it. Yeah. And we now, got Ollie go from England is the next one. Oh, tree tap. That was a very aggressive. He like planted, stayed a while, you know, checked in, took a nap, Rock checked tap. out. Woo. <laughs> He's tapping everything. Another oh, another dude, one. Dude, dude, stop. If, if he doesn't have to do a single flip. He doesn't need a single rotation. Just launch yourself off of something and tap it. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need. He is the bull in the china shop right now that just wants to see how many things he can run into and stay standing. And he's doing it so Dod well. Dodging all of these trees, managing to find that little tree rail right at the end here. Going across the bridge onto the tree, gonna send it big, slowing down, slowing down again off the oh. rocks. That that rock section has been hit four or five times today, and it might just be a glitch of that one section. I might have to go and try that spot out after yeah. this and see. Maybe that's what we'll do between uh between events. We'll load up Steve and you and I will take turns hitting the backcountry prowler out, seeing how miserable we do. No one wants to see that. No. <laughs> I don't want to see that. <laughs> oh man. Okay, he was just dying. <laughs> you all right? I don't know. Taking the breath taken away from this run. <laughs> I think just oh, a massive there. send, and he's going to land that. Oh, puts on the brakes so he can catch this rainbow bridge. And I'm oh, like a fakie at the very top of that, looking like twisting one way and then coming back around. Yeah, I will remind you, he did not clear both rock features Okay. on that send. You got about that's your, that's your judging criteria. Did yep. they clear two rocks? <laughs> Here we go. Another he did not, but bomb. he tapped rocks. He's tapped like eight of them. Insane. Absolute insanity. Tap at the <laughs> end of that feature. Is he going to hit the rainbow rail to cap it off? Yes, he sure is. It's that and one. That... Yeah, there's another one. There's two. Oh, there's two. Okay. Oh. I see you. I see you, Ollie. Smacking it down. Oh, look at that beautiful tail grab. Slow mo. Landing Again. super smooth. Carving it through. Then the tree tap. That, I don't think you can do a tree tap much better. I mean, the game usually glitches on those, so props to you for me. And that rock tap. Yeah, man. getting both bottoms of the skis on that one. You know, just planting, and it looked like he was suspended there for a second. That was a ton yes. of fun. 
Jeff Love Honda that. reminding us we have only one hour until Ubisoft Forward pre-stream kicks off. Yes, be sure to join us at 2 p.m. Eastern time, one hour from right now, wherever you are on this globe uh, for <laughs> the Ubisoft Forward 2021 stream. Well, we are we've made it to the final the final run. So let's see. This is the last chance for someone to kind of really put their impression down. We have Aramix. I know he's in the yeah. chat. Please tell us how to pronounce your name. Because I think we said Aramix before and it was incorrect. We got dragged for that. So if it's <laughs> Aramix, Aromi, whatever it is, uh, please please help us out here in the chat. From yes. the United States, it's Arrow. I'm just going to go with that. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. He put in that tree tap too. The same, same location as Ollie. There we go. Let's Head see. Down. Down. Picking that left. You know, that left side just oh, breezing man. himself off the side of that yeah tree. it was like a so, like side grind essentially just coming in that vert horizontal vertical kind of perpendicular parallel math terms coming in oh. at a different angle oh uh yeah I, I will address it after this run arrow just smashing it down here enters the valley let's see what he's gonna do He's gonna pull off a huge is he gonna land the transfer of course he's gonna land the transfer yeah he's he's gotta land the transfer he's competing oh and a nice sideways you know another sideways he likes yeah. spending just as much time sideways as you know standing up and down <laughs> he just bounced off of his butt and still managed to stay up on his skis did you see that yeah yeah Nuts. I... <laughs> I, he has springs built into his boots or his bindings whatever it is might be using some performance enhancing equipment here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Got the rubber core skis. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here we go into the trees, of course, showing some of that backcountry love. I, I mm -hmm. absolutely, I appreciate all of the riders taking a little bit of time and uh, enjoying some weaving in between that foliage there. Yeah, gotta they're, do it. It's they're the checking country. checking out the local scenery. You know, it's a beautiful spot. You gotta you gotta find the sweet spots when you're cruising. There's that. I think that's the one that you said he bottomed out. Mm -hmm. Just touched. Yeah. yeah. Don't no know how clue. he did it. Just no gorgeous. Clue how he did that. Um, we have yes. We we have to clarify a couple different folks talking about the next stream over on Twitch, saying uh, I believe Ubisoft starts at 3 p.m. Which yes, it does. But we are starting with the pre-show at two. Correct. Yeah. There's a pre-show at two uh main show at three well probably after this ends i was right about half an hour so like 40 minutes uh probably like 120 130 we'll start up a twitch stream just playing some games and then going through it there was but, that uh, huge butter butter grind on the side of that tree stump that was that might have been my favorite rail you know rail feature grind feature of the day i think so but it's time for them to pick their favorite thing of the day we got to do a fan vote so I think right now, if it's still saved in my queue, yes, it is. The form is in the chat now. The fan favorite form vote. You get to pick one. So pick your favorite run of the day. Uh, we'll give you guys a little bit of time. And then, you know, we have a couple suggestions, like who's close to the top from the judges, but we want to see what you guys think. We like doing this whole thing live, unscripted, unplanned. We know nothing at this point, <laughs> just like we do about skiing and snowboarding. Yes, we, we did put some judges to the task of uh, creating their votes and their leaderboards. So we will use them strictly as a tiebreaker if we yes. have to. They're, they're guidelines, you know? Yeah, right. That's right, what we guidelines. like to say. Don't really yeah. have to follow the rules. Yeah. So without further ado, we are going to shoot back to a, uh, a waiting screen here. We're going to let you guys digest everything that just happened. We are on YouTube. So I want to remind you that you can scroll a live stream back, I believe, right? Yeah, I believe so. You should be able to go back a little bit if you wanted to mm -hmm. check a run. We'll give you, what, five minutes, you want to say? Yeah. So five let's minutes. say at, well, how about we say at 110? So we'll give you six minutes. Okay. So we will come back in six minutes. Uh, whenever your clock reads 10, we will be back on the stream. So we will what see. What if they're you. in one of those half hours time zones? Shh, shh, shh. We'll see you in six minutes. <laughs>
There we go. Hey, what's up? We have returned and we have a winner. We do have a winner. So this was coming from the fan vote. You guys decided. And with 23.1%, the winner of the TFG Backcountry Brawl, the first live event, the first live vote we have is ollie from england hey congratulations ollie smacking it down with just this master class of bonks yeah i think that's really what did it that technique you know that tree that rock tap he like jumped off of the rock he was able to stick and then that tree like that first section right there is enough to mm -hmm. win a lot yeah. of events just renaming it the bonk country brawl next time <laughs> Just be glad space wasn't competing, I guess. I think, oh my gosh, you know, yeah. that would be a Titan versus Titan type scenario. But <laughs> he had plenty of smooth stuff in his run, too, like that beautiful transfer over to the thing. And then, you know, nice landing. <laughs> yeah, this was such a fun run, you know, hitting just everything perfectly, uh, slowing down here and enjoying those rocks. Of course, I knew that one of those rock riders was going to be our winner today. There's no way that it wasn't going to shape out that way. Yeah, and we were uh, talking about the rest of them. I think there was like a three, a four, a four-way tie for second. It was really close um, with those ones. And yeah, so, you know, just congratulations. It did kind of come out how the, a little bit like how the judges did, but they didn't pick Ollie as the winner. So, you know, the fans really matter in this one. Yeah, absolutely. And once we get to Ollie's replays, we're going to let his run uh, ride out the entirety of it. And once we get to his replays, we are, I will run through the names of uh, our second and third place, you know, everyone that's on here. Really, everyone is a huge winner today. I know that's cheesy to say, <laughs> and that's, you know, just start the violins, but like you guys all showed up. This was such a fun event, our first ever live event. Um, if you guys enjoyed this feel format, uh, of course, you know, we have the new template, the, the design of the screen itself, courtesy of our boy, Mitch. <laughs> Um, if you enjoy this and you would like to see more live events, please let us know, uh, both down in the live chat and over on Discord. And there it is, Just capping it off. The king, the king of Tartiflette Games, backcountry bonks. He's going to put his crown on and then wear it. He's now fit. Is it Buckingham Palace that he belongs to now? Is that his homestead? I believe so. Is that what they call the where the queen lives? Yeah. yeah. So, Ollie of course coming out like mitch said with 23.1 percent of the vote and then we had a four-way tie for second place at 15.4 percent of the votes each for aramix aramix unpen extra clean water and ruby and the third place winner with 7.7 percent of the vote was eclipse so again all five six six of those <laughs> runs were just stellar. Congratulations to everyone and the entire field as well. Yeah, we say it every event that we have, but you know, it just gets harder and harder. Everyone's doing so well and different people will pick different favorite things. So I'm just glad we get to watch them all. That's why we like this live format, going ahead with qualifiers and stuff. We could just set aside time and watch 
almost every qualifying run and just hang out like this read your comments you can hear us try and make up stuff about each run crack a couple jokes and then you know do the finals the same way i am uh sorry to sidetrack down into the chat here there's a user in there called have a grace mm -hmm. who are you <laughs> have a grace is a is a place in maryland that's uh very close to me i'm <laughs> interested to see who that was they said that they would have voted for extra clean water had they had the time to get in there to vote but that's that's what you get when with a live stream sorry <laughs> yeah you don't get three days anymore but yeah this was a ton of fun yes. not our first tfg live event i will say there is one i think it's blocked or hidden on our channel yeah, yeah. but don't watch that one I'm, i gotta go hide it if it's still up there no that one was rough that was way back at the beginning of steep uh yeah. like the first big air event uh, it was it was bad. It was yeah. real bad. So, yeah. <laughs> now you know, kicking off the new era, and of course, super excited for Ubisoft Forward later yes. this afternoon, where hopefully we will have more information surrounding Riders Republic. We will. We will. They we said know, yeah. it's there. Yeah. So if it's not, we riot on stream. <laughs> But this format is the new format kind of getting us ready for Riders Republic. So new game, new feel, new layout for the streams and for the events. So uh, stick with us. We're going to take a quick break after this one wraps up. And we should be back. What do you want to say? A quarter to two? By a one half hour break here? Somewhere. Yeah, like one. 41 45 we don't need to start at an exact time on twitch so once we're back we'll boot up twitch i'll post in discord again and then we'll hang out and play some games watch the pre-show watch the full show the post show i think's rainbow six so i don't know if we'll watch that i think well i think well, we have a drop no in. we will we will watch the post show because we have drops that's right for so. the post show so if you've missed it over on instagram and on discord we will have free pc video game giveaways mm -hmm. uh on stream during ubisoft forward so make sure you follow there the more people that are in there or the less people that are in there you know you're gonna have a pretty good shot i don't think we're gonna get more than 20 25 30 yeah. people over on twitch so watch this one because you're gonna have a really good shot at walking away with some free pc games and of course everyone that is watching on twitch that has drops enabled on their twitch mm -hmm. account will be able to claim some free in-game stuff including a t-shirt in riders republic so yes. before you even have the game you're going to be getting a t-shirt to wear in that game exclusive to ubisoft forward exclusive to nick and mitch streaming ubisoft forward today and i might say it looks great it is a pink magenta -ish shirt that says what something i'll stash stash it up stash it up it's baby. the mustache shirt stash it up with the mustache over a pyramid it's gonna look great with those shiny pants that might be the shiny pants gang official outfit that's the t-shirt yeah. so stay tuned you're gonna get some exclusive merch here uh coming up in the ubisoft forward stream make sure you stay tuned follow us over on twitch make sure you're subscribed you have notifications set for when we go live just do it that way just once this one ends go over to twitch load it up and wait until you hear our voices again we will be back very soon. Thank you so much to all of you who tuned in. What's up, Gnarly Duck? I see your comment there. Thank you to everybody who tuned in for the Tardif Flight Games Backcountry Brawl. I'm Nick. And I'm Mitch. And we'll see you in a couple of minutes over on Twitch for Ubisoft Forward. We'll see ya. <laughs>